Hello everyone, this is Carla Hebert with Bella Vista Wreaths and today we've got a special tutorial for you um, where my husband Jim is going to show you step by step how he put together this beautiful ribbon rack for my craft room. So I'll let him take it away. Yes, so Carla really wanted a bookshelf for all her ribbons. And so I decided to make a four by six uh, bookshelf design carry these ribbons with uh, dowel rods. So here on the video, you can see me mapping out where to uh, place these dowel rods and the spacing needed. Uh, so I, I use a little triangle uh, to draw straight lines and figure out exactly where each dowel rod needs to go. Uh, to figure that out, I took these uh, ribbons, placed them on there and figure out the best way, uh, best distance between each uh, shelving for grabbing these dowel rods or the, these ribbons out of each area. And so here I'm drilling about halfway through. So uh, I'm gonna glue the dowel rods into each of these holes. Uh, I ended up making 10 shelves uh, total of dowel rods. Uh, and then I, I did it to the other side also. Now, when you say halfway through, what do you mean by that? Halfway well, this through. is a three quarter inch wood. Mm. And so I, uh, I drilled about halfway through, so I didn't go all the way through on this first piece. Mm -hmm. But when designing this, I, I kind of needed to go all the way through on the second one because it really wasn't fitting together with the dowel rods. A fun little jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> it, it really was. <laughs> so I used two, uh, two different size dowel rods. Uh, used a five eighths and a half inch uh, dowel rods at four foot long. I didn't know which one would have been best for this project. And in the end, either one worked. So how many total rods are there for the project? There's 20 in this project total. I, kn I didn't know what I needed. Uh, exactly, until I put the ribbons uh, onto this board to figure out how many shelves I could use. So here you can see me drilling all the way through on this second piece of wood. Just for placing the dowel rods through, this is the only way I could think of to get them into the holes. You'll see in a second me trying to piece this board with uh, these 20 dowel rods. It was, it was a complicated process. Uh, I think that was actually my idea. <laughs> Yes, it was your idea. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> There's always little complications with every project you would tackle. Now, is this a special drill bit you're using? That's just a, just a standard drill bit. I so I had two different sizes: the the five eighths for the five eight dowel rod, and the the half inch uh, to get through for each one. I remember us having to go teeter-tottering back and forth trying to get those rods in. And yeah, here we this, go now. This is, a, this is the part that was the hardest part of the whole project, was trying to figure out how to get these dowel rods into these holes. Yeah, then you call me over as a tag team. So in a second, you'll see me jump in. <laughs> it, it really needed two people for this project, just to have one try to line up the holes with the dowel rod and then hammer it in. So I ended up using a rubber mallet and another piece of wood to help hammer it in. Uh, the, the extra piece of wood so I didn't damage the, the project itself. Now, there you are helping I think helping it's good to out. have a second person just for the stability, to make sure that you don't break any of the rods, um, and just easeability of being able to actually work the rods into those tiny little holes because it was pretty tight <laughs> it well they're designed to be tight so that uh so once you put the project together it's stable and then now i start sanding down uh when i had to drill through the board uh it, with the dowel rods i had to do a lot more sanding on this side than any other side and obviously later on i do sand the entire project before i paint it I'm starting to measure out the uh, the top and bottoms of the bookshelf. I didn't do this before uh, the dowel rods because I wanted to get the exact length of the top and bottom after the dowel rods get put in. So, uh, so here I, I cut both boards at the same time at the, the length I needed. 
Uh, it ended up being just under a four foot here, but overall the project is exactly uh, four foot uh, length. So are the boards themselves, you bought four foot shelves or wood yeah, they're, planks? They're, uh, no, I bought an eight foot, cut it in half. But they're also uh, ten inch, uh, ten inch uh, four or eight foot by ten inch uh, boards. So I'm, I'm getting ready to start doing uh, uh, pocket holes here, and uh, pocket holes are very good for uh, combining the boards together, put an angle, and kind of hide the screw. How many pocket hole drills or holes, I should say, are you putting in there? I had to put four on each side, just uh, with the boards being that long, it, it fit four well. All right, and what are you doing here? I'm screwing the uh, the screws through the pocket holes I made. You see the little four holes there. So after I get these boards put in, I want to put the the backing on the bookshelf. I use a quarter inch uh, plywood. It's four by six, uh, and I, I just uh, nail it in to place. And uh, so here, I lost my camera uh, for the rest of the build, and was able to film it. So I ended up sanding it all down. I put a face frame on the front. And then painted the whole uh, the whole thing with a paint sprayer in, in the yard, and it turned out really good. It very simple project. Just the only hard part was getting the dollar rods in. All right, y'all, and look, this is the final product of my ribbon rack. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. It's the perfect addition for organizing your ribbons in your craft space. I like to make wreaths and home decor and i filled that sucker up here i am putting all of my ribbons what do y'all think um if you like having my special guest we may have him um appear more often please like and subscribe again this is carla and jim abear from bella vista wreaths thank you for watching and comment below if there's anything you think we might do differently for this project or just give us some love. Thanks again for watching.